is Valley's most in-depth weather forecast video, the Wednesday evening edition here on uh, the 29th day of March 2023. Weather for weather geeks. No shortage of things to talk about again as we head towards uh, late this week and the weekend. We've got more wind to talk about, some more rain. We even have some snowflakes out there this evening as a strong cold front is pushing through. Speaking of strong cold fronts, we had one late in March last year. It was, of course, not a particularly cold winter or spring last year, but late in March, we set a record low temperature on today's date. One of just a handful of record lows in recent months. Again, set one year ago today, 14 degrees. Uh, our temperature tonight into tomorrow morning, we'll get this low officially at the airport, but I'm not going to be surprised if we have some teens in some of the colder nooks first thing tomorrow morning, maybe 19, 18 degrees across the countryside as Thursday gets underway because this cold front is rolling through as of this recording at 7, 10 p.m. We've had a few wet snowflakes mixed in with raindrops. We've had a gusty breeze from time to time over the last few hours, but as expected, this is a quick hitter and the sky will actually clear quickly uh, before the evening is through. Now we made it into the 50s earlier on, but when the front rolled through, we went from the lower 50s to the 30s with wind chills in the 20s in just 45 minutes, really. A big drop between, say, about 4.45 and 5.30 at the Youngstown Warren Airport puts us at 34 here in the 7 o'clock hour. Again, a long way from where we were earlier on today. Now, uh, at the top of the hour wind gusts uh, here at the airport, uh, 35 is the top number you see here, but we did have a gust over 40 not at the top of the hour, but kind of in between hours, a couple of hours ago at the airport. So that went pretty much as expected. Nothing like we had last Saturday, but still enough of a breeze to certainly be noticeable. All right, uh, very elevated risk of severe weather across uh, the eastern U.S., especially across the lower Ohio Valley and the Mississippi Valley on Friday. Severe weather is not going to be a big widespread concern on Thursday anywhere, but Friday... Ingredients are going to come together for some hail-producing storms, some wind-producing storms, and maybe some tornadic activity across uh, parts of Illinois, especially eastern and central Missouri, up into Iowa, down into the lower Mississippi Valley. Now, you'll notice our area is not really painted in any sort of severe weather risk. Severe thunderstorms are not really a concern around here Friday or Friday night, even though we could have some thunder Friday night. I'd be more concerned about just, once again, straight-line winds on Saturday, which we'll talk about in just a moment. So bundle up Thursday morning, but the sky will be sunny throughout the course of our day. A pretty nice day overall, just a little bit cooler than the average. Warm front lifts through the area Friday morning. This will come with a surge in moisture. There'll be some showers around for lunchtime, probably a break late afternoon, very early in the evening before a showers return. At times Friday night, there could be a thunderstorm overnight. Now here's our trouble spot as we head into the uh, first part of the weekend. Now, as I mentioned last evening, this is not going to play out exactly like last Saturday. The windiest part of this Saturday will probably be mid to late morning instead of mid to late afternoon. It's also going to turn much colder this uh, Saturday afternoon. And when the strongest winds are here this time around on Saturday, it probably won't be raining. In fact, the sun will probably be out during the time that it's uh, windiest. This will probably be mid to late morning. The atmosphere will get mixed very efficiently by that sunshine for a few hours Saturday morning. Winds could gust up to 50 or so. And then as our second cold front rolls through, the real true cold front rolls through, that's this one right here. Uh, the clouds will return, showers will return, but the wind will start to calm down as we go deeper into the afternoon. So again, we're looking for peak wind gusts probably around 50. Now, of course, we had a, a, a gust at the airport of 61 miles per hour last Saturday. I think 61 is not going to be attainable at our location, maybe a higher chance of that down here. It looks like the core of strongest winds may be a little more focused towards I-70 this time, but still a 45 or 50 mile per hour gust with loose soil uh, could spell some, some fallen trees, some power issues, something we have to prepare for once again as we kick off the uh, weekend. So while I don't think this is probably going to be, result in as widespread of a power outage situation as last Saturday, it's something that uh, if you are concerned about this, well, here's your here's your fair warning. Uh, we've been talking about this all week. We're going to talk about it again on Thursday and Friday. We'll give you plenty of uh, head, of heads up on this one. Make sure that those you know who maybe don't pay attention to the weather as carefully as those who watch this video, make sure they know that, hey, another windy one's coming their way on Saturday and maybe some power outages as a result. Rainfall totals, uh, aside from our front this evening, we're talking mostly here Friday into Friday night and then again Saturday afternoon. Uh, Nam, uh, this run looks like a bogus run to me modeling uh, consensus is more in this zone half an inch to an inch worth of rain but again the strongest winds on saturday will be when it's not raining unlike this past saturday now there will be a brief cool down behind that front on sunday but 
after that, look at these temperatures next week. Upper 60s. Maybe 70 on Wednesday. Now, Tuesday is kind of a tricky one. I could see where if, if uh, a front sags to the south and stalls for a time on Tuesday, we might not get as high as 67. Um, that front likely, very likely, to lift back north as a warm front, though, by Tuesday night and Wednesday. So I have a higher confidence in this Wednesday number being pretty warm than I do the Tuesday number. Also, Monday looks like a slam dunk at this point to be pretty mild. It's Tuesday that's a little bit of a forecasting challenge right now, but today's only Wednesday. We've got plenty of time to figure this out. Bottom line is it's going to warm up pretty nicely as we go into that first full week of April. Thanks for watching Weather for Weather Geeks. Tonight, make sure you're following me on all the social medias, and I will see you back here on Thursday.